Are you tired of hitting roadblocks in your dating life? Join me for a free masterclass on Wednesday, January 10th at 6 p.m. Pacific time, where I'll be revealing the three nice guy dating patterns that turn women off and what you should be doing instead. Unlock the secrets to creating genuine attraction. Click the link in the description to sign up now. I, I did a video recently called, she canceled our date and then who should be the one to reach out to reschedule. In that video, I talked about how th th there was this guy that he had set up a date the day of, the girl calls and says, oh, I can't make the date, whatever. And then he's like, okay, great. Well, let me know when you're free. And then she didn't get back to him. So it's been a couple of days and he was like, okay, so should I reach out to her or should I wait for her to reach out to me or what, what it is what it is, you know? And so um, the guy answered, asked the question. He says, I have a question. If she counter offers a different date, how will one know that she still wants to see you because of interest instead of just being nice because she canceled? I uh, hope that makes sense. So I think what he's trying to ask is like, okay, she cancels the date and then she comes back and says, hey, let's reschedule. Let's meet up at this day at this time. So she actually gives you a legit counter offer, right? So the guy's asking, but like, is she doing that because she feels bad that she canceled the first date and wants to make it up to me? Does she actually have interest in me or is this like a pity makeup date? And my response across the board is who cares? Because especially if this was this, in this case, it was the first date. So on that first date, all you're trying to do with the goal of that first date is to take her from whatever interest level she's at to a little bit higher. So it doesn't really matter how she comes at the date. If she has uh, doc club used to say that like interest level starts at 51%, which means you have 51% means you have barely a shot. She has a little bit of interest enough to warrant going out on a date. Anything below 50 is like no, no man's land, you know? So it's like the point is this, whether she starts at, say, a 55% interest in you, because the goal is to get her to like 90%. So if you started at 55% interest or whether you start at a 75% interest, where she's like, she saw your picture online, she's already kind of gung-ho, she's ready to meet you. In both of these scenarios, the end goal, one, is to get a yes for the date, and then also to raise her interest level from wherever it started to a higher level by the end of the date. So I don't personally care if this woman hits me back and says, hey, so I canceled the date, sorry, but let's go out like next Thursday. I don't care if she's saying that with the interest level of 52%. She still said yes to the date. I'm gonna still go on the date and just go in with the idea of doing the showing the best version of me that I possibly can. All I can do is show up as my authentic self and hopefully I'll crack some jokes, we'll have a good time. And at the end of that date, She'll have a higher enough interest to where when I ask her out the next time, she'll be maybe a bit more enthusiastic in that yes, and she won't flake on me. But I think guys get so in their head about the idea of like, well, if she doesn't like me right away, then why don't she say yes to a date? And this is where I tell you guys that women's like for you is going to be fluid, especially in the beginning of the dating process. So for example, let's say you hit her up for a date. The day that she said yes to the date, she might've been at like 65%, but then something happened. Maybe her ex reached out to her. Maybe she had a bad day at work. And now her desire to want to go out with you, her interest is now at like 54. So it went down to where she's like, I'm not sh quite sure. I just need a day to kind of be to myself. And so she says, oh, I can't make the date because of work. It's always some excuse. But then she says, but hey, let's do it on this day and this time instead. Oh, she kind of offered. So even though her interest is at 54 now, she still has enough of an interest to still want to at least try to meet up and see if there's some kind of connection there. Great. So she says, so she, you say, okay, great, let's reschedule for this time, right? Then the day, the next date comes that she, that the second date that you guys rescheduled for, and all of a sudden, and now her, her interest is at, started at 54 when she rescheduled the date to it's higher to like maybe 56 when she's going on the date with you, you know? We don't need a high interest. We don't need her to see, because see, when you go on the date, you're like, you've already assessed her and what you like about her to already think in your head that she'd be a good mate. Oh, she's got curves this, she's got body this, she looks fine this. So you're already going into the date at a 90% interest level. And that's why I tell you guys need to curtail how interested you think you are because you're basing it on lustful things, how she looks, how you think she's going to smell, all these things, right? But you haven't actually gotten a chance to know her. And so to be fair, women do a lot better in terms of like coming to the game like, okay, I'm going in because I think he could be the one, but I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm going to assess all these things and see by the end of the date how I'm feeling, right? And so because women go into it like that, we look at that as like, well, she doesn't fully like me, so she's not playing games with me. She's just trying to get a free dinner. She doesn't really like me. No, she doesn't. All, all we know she likes you. She just met you. And again, her interest is going to be fluid. It's going to go by, okay, 54 when she replanned the date, 56 when she got on the date. You make her laugh. She has a good time. By the end of the date, her thing is bumped up to like 61%. Okay, great. 
Ask her out on a second date. That second date, by the end of that date, is bumped up to like a 67. Fantastic. But it's going to be going at that slow pace build because she's not just assessing like how much she likes your aesthetics and you making her laugh, but she's thinking about, okay, is he a long-term partner? Based on the conversations we had, how could I see us having a long-term future together? Like, is he being consistent in his actions from date to date? And these things take more time to assess. So all this to say, if she cancels and re reconsiders and says, hey, let's let's do it on this different day and time, don't be in your head about, well, she just did that because she just, because she canceled the last one and she, you know, she might not really like me all the way. She doesn't like you all the way in, dude. It's, it's the first date, all right? But don't, but that's good. She, she shouldn't like you all the way on that first date. She should like you just enough to give you a shot at going on the date with her to see what kind of time she has. And then on that date, she'll start to build up feelings and interest and care and all that other stuff. And then after that first date, Guess what, guys? It still takes two to three months for her to solidify her feelings, which means it's still going to take her a bit more time to actually figure out if she wants to be with you. So just give that time. And as I always say to you guys, as long as she is saying yes to dates or giving you counter offers, you are good. And in the beginning, don't try to figure out if she, what high level of interest she has. She doesn't have a high level of interest yet because she just started dating you. All right. So get, get out of your ego. Don't let it hurt your feelings. Don't be thinking I, I'm lower because she she's trying to reschedule, but she probably doesn't want to. Like that that really plays more on your self esteem than hers. Like you're telling her yourself, and you're like, I don't know if she's scheduled it because she just is doing out of pity or because she actually likes me. That is a sign that you have some low self esteem issues to work on, guy. And that's not for her to fix. That's for you to figure out so you can understand that when women flake sometimes, it's because they're legitimately busy. Or even if it's not, as long as they're counter offering and then showing up for that next date, then you you still have a shot. Like, all we care about is, are you getting a shot to date this girl? And that's what you should be concentrating on in the beginning. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You